Hello buddy. Very quick update for you this week. Uh, did a couple of bits and bobs in the van. We decided not to go away this weekend. The weather was absolutely dire. I uh, got a couple of bits and bobs that we needed to do at home. But I'll just show you what we've been doing so you've got some idea of what's been going on. So a couple of small changes that we've made since uh, we went away to the lakes and did the campsite last weekend. Um, very minor. That bench over there, um, when I did the design, it was perfect to actually fit the table legs in between. Since I've actually put the facings on the front, it's basically dropped everything down by about 6mm. So, I've had to move the bench back towards the wall very slightly, uh, which has let us set the table up without sort of scraping the side pieces down here. Um, also on the very edge of that, I've actually got some of the silver trim that uh, went around the windows. Um, that's literally just to stop it from ragging the uh, the panel at the side, uh, so that does actually make it a little bit better. We've also painted the slats um, on each of the benches as well, so it fits in well. There's no sort of bare wood to be seen. Uh, another small change that we did make uh, was in here. We've gone to using these five litre still spring water bottles from Aldi. Um, they're very cheap. Uh, refillable so that's not a problem uh, but we were using those plastic bottles that we bought specifically for the water uh, but what we found was the taste in the water was horrible it was really tainting it so we decided after trying various things to get rid of the taste um, if we go for using the sort of the spring water bottles we know they're perfectly safe there's no taste to them at all and uh, that stops any sort of flavoring coming through on the water and then obviously what we've done is just use one of those 10 litres that we had got just as the waste. And the other big thing that we had to do, um, actually found out about it while we were in the lakes, was the fridge on the runner, just there. Um, we've got the two little hook and eyes like we've got on the cupboard doors there, um, just on the sides. Uh, I've got one either side which had been fine. And the run around the lakes this last time was a bit too much for it with the bumpy roads. And um, basically, they just kept on shooting straight out of the hooks, uh, well, shooting the hook straight out of the eyes, I should say. And the fridge would be uh, off on the next corner. Uh, so, what we did when I got back, I just built this little block, and it's one of the old parts of the bed slats. So, that just falls down in front and stops the fridge from actually moving while you're in transit. Um, nothing too major at all, it's just an off cut from one of the legs, screwed onto the leg which is on the, uh, the edge of there. Uh, I've got some big bolts so it's just a big bolt through there on a washer to keep it sort of pliable but loose so you can actually sort of move it around and there's just a little screw down there which stops it from dropping down. So once that's down, fridge stays closed in transit and the problem solved. So there you go, very quick update. Like so, had a weekend off this weekend, just sorting bits and bobs out, uh, but hopefully get away next weekend. Haven't decided where we're going yet, but we're going to see what we can find. Uh, but obviously, the more that we do to the van, you'll see different things coming through. Um, the more we use it, the more we're finding out, little tweaks and bits and bobs like that. So yeah, it's been quite a, uh, a nice little learning curve that we found on it. Uh, but we'll leave it there for now. But if you like the video, please do give us a thumbs up, really helps out. And if you're not subscribed, drop subscribing and uh, that will really help the channel out no end. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.